Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my thoughts of The Flash TV series on the CW. Today we're going to be sharing my thoughts, or I'm going to be sharing my thoughts of Season 4, Episode 11, The Elongated Night Rises. So, uh, I'm about to start it right now, and I'll share my thoughts with you as we go on. So, let's do it. Okay, what are the odds that there is a prison riot going on while Barry is incarcerated? Like, really? And why were, where did they get all that toilet paper from? Also, Barry has a nice mustache. Thing is, I don't know how many tally marks he put on his wall, but I think he's been in there for like seven days, so it's pretty impressive how fast he could grow like a beard and a mustache. I guess the speed force kind of helps him grow a beard like super fast, so cool. Yeah, no, I think Ralph is dead. I'm not sure if rubber can explode, but, you know, I'm pretty sure Ralph would die from that. Stretchy man? Really? Well, I guess it's better than, you know, elongated man. But you know what's better than both of those names? Stretch Armstrong. Dang, Steve Harvey? Back at it again with those white vans. Also, why is he in prison? Okay, I gotta say, the whole reference to the original Flash series with the original Trickster played by Mark Hamill is pretty cool. The thing is, the way they explain the Trickster's family and the family history in this episode, how the heck was Trickster a villain back then if there was no superheroes? Like, was he just the only supervillain? What the heck? Another thing, I never thought that we would ever get character development for the Trickster. Good move, DC. Good move. The name that Ralph shouts to Trickster when he first sees him, Fallout Boy? I like that reference. Keep it up. Okay, seeing Ralph get burned and then having him scream in pain was actually pretty horrifying. I never want to see that again. Alright, for any of you guys wondering what the heck leaf peeping is, it is an informal term in the U.S. for the activity in which people travel to view and photograph the fall foliage in areas where leaves change colors in autumn, particularly in northern New England and the upper Midwest. I just really wanted to know what leaf peeping was. I'm kind of disappointed to find out what leaf peeping was. Hey, they brought back the mighty Bebo from Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> Bebo, no! You know, every time they destroy a Bebo toy on one of these shows, it really hurts me on the inside. It really does. Okay, I was not expecting the little case holding Ralph's new suit to glow. That was kind of <laughs> interesting. And it kind of reminded me of this scene. Why does Cisco not like Ralph? I mean, he's a walking movie reference. Come on. I feel like they would watch good movies together. Be movie buddies. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, the fact that Ralph was about to get burned by acid was pretty intense. And I was very scared. But I feel like, just to add a little more intensity to the scene... Somebody should have yelled this. <laughs> oh, oh no! It's boiling acid! Okay, it was a nice gesture from Barry to vibrate through the glass. But, uh, you know, he's, he's taking quite a risk, you know? Uh, he could have, A, broken the glass and cut up Iris like a piece of salami. Or he could have you know, been caught by the camera and revealed his secret identity to the warden. But, uh, you know, a nice gesture for your girlfriend is always nice, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let it slide this time. Is that Flash's daughter? Nah, yeah, probably not. Alright, you guys, so those were my thoughts while watching the latest Flash episode. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.